Welcome back to the channel! Got a cool idea for React app but don't want to waste time styling every button and build components from scratch? I've got you! In this video I will show you how to build your next idea way faster by using one of three powerful UI libraries – Daisy UI, Material UI and ShadCN UI. We will compare them side by side so you can pick the right one and get straight to building what actually matters. Let's jump in! Let's start with Daisy UI. This library sits on top of Tailwind CSS, offering ready-made class names for common UI elements. Instead of writing lots of uh, utility classes, Days UI lets you write neat semantic classes like button, button primary, the one we actually use in, my, in one of my previous videos. It's fast, lightweight and has awesome built-in theming, uh, by the way, there are 28 themes. But here is the catch, um, Daisy UI is purely CSS, no JavaScript included. So for interactive elements like models or dropdowns, you will need to add some extra JS or pair it with something like headless UI. And in terms of pros of this library, it provides rapid UI development with the semantic Tailwind classes um, and it is lightweight. In terms of cons, it requires Tailwind CSS knowledge and limited built-in interactive components. Now let's take a look at Material UI. This heavyweight React library provides a complete set of components based on Google Material Design. Buttons, forms, models, you name it, MUI has it. It's a battle-tested, highly accessible and comes with extensive documentation. Plus, the theming system lets you customize colors and typography easily. But there is a trade-off. MUI can add significant size to your bundle and customizing beyond material design guidelines might feel restrictive. In terms of pros, uh, it is comprehensive, production-ready components, strong accessibility out of the box and robust theming and customization. And in terms of cons, uh, large bundle size can feel locked into material design authentics and slight learning curve uh, with component APIs and styling system. Finally, Shetsian UI, the newcomer everyone's talking about. This library uniquely combines Redix UI for accessibility and Tailwind CSS for styling. Components are added to your project using a CLI tool, giving you the flexibility of full control over your UI elements. It's highly customizable and accessible by design, but it requires comfort with the Tailwind and React, plus you will need uh, to manually manage component updates. In terms of pros, it has ultimate customization, own your components fully, it has excellent built-in accessibility via Radix, and also it has minimal bundle size. In terms of cons, it has manual setup and maintenance also required, and it has moderate learning curve. And also component coverage growing, but still limited compared, for example, to material UI. So next we will take a look how to set up these libraries into your project and how to import components. So for our demo we need to generate React app with Vite, I have already done it, and also we need to install Tailwind CSS. I have already prepared some demo app with a basic uh, layout, so let's take a look at that. So this is the app, it will header and footer and main container where we place uh, the components which we will import from UI libraries. So let's explore first uh, Daisy UI library and here let's press menu and go to install. So in this installation guide we need to select Vite and here is step-by-step -step explanation how to install Daisy UI into our project. If you already created a project and you already installed the Tailwind CSS, so uh, you just need to install additionally Daisy UI. And after that, if you have already Tailwind CSS imported into your Vite config, you need to import Daisy UI plugin in your style CSS file. And basically that's it, so now we can go and explore components and decide what we want to drag into our project. And I guess that for our example we can use card component for all three libraries and compare them how do they look like uh, all card components from all different libraries. Let's find a card component in this uh, list of the components and here is it, let's click on this. And here in the card section we can see all classes related to card component and here are different variations of the card component. 
But let's take a look at the first one. So you see on the each component there are three tabs, preview, HTML, and JSX. So let's click in the HTML so we can see the markup of this card component, but we will need for our project to use JSX. And to be able to use it, uh, we just need to press copy here and paste it into our app. Here in the app, let's create another file and name it daisy UI card. Now we can paste it in here, perfect. And then we should import this card component over here instead of that. Done, so now let's take a look at browser. And here is it, as simple as that. So we have that image, we have card title, text description and button. Let's get back to components list. So as you see, there are a bunch of components, different one, you have calendars, checkboxes, different toggles, drawer as well here on the left. So also you have footers, you have hero. So basically you can build whatever you want using this UI library. Let's move on and take a look at uh, material UI library. So, but first we need to install it to our app. For that, let's uh, go um, to docs material UI and here we need installation section. So here we have explanation of default installation. We need to install material UI, emotion, and emotion styled. Material UI under the hood use emotion library for styling. This is uh, CSS and JS. It's similar to styled components. And actually, if you want to use styled components, you can do that, uh, but you need to run different command here and install styled components. If you want to know more about styled components, you can take a look at my previous video where I explain about different CSS methods, including styled components. Also here explanation how to install fonts and icons. I have already installed it, so you need to do the same and then we can move and find the card in the components list of uh, material UI library. Let's press components and here in the bottom we can find card. Let's select card. So in that section you can see introduction to the component and also different variations of the card. But for our demo, we will pick the first one, the most basic one. So to be able to integrate this card into our app, we just uh, need to press that expand code and we need to copy paste that code to our app. Also, there are two versions, JS and TS. We will need TS version, TypeScript version. So we just need to copy that and uh, paste it in our app. Also, before we do that, uh, there is a cool feature in that uh, library so you can edit it inside the code sandbox. So before you bring this component to your app, you can play around it in the sandbox. So here you can update some text, uh, play around with that card and then see if it is suitable to your project, then you can import it. Okay, here is the card code copied from uh, material UI library examples. And as you see here, we import card, card content, card actions, button and typography from the library. Now let's import that component to our layout. That's done. Now let's go to the browser and see how it looks. Okay, here is the card from a material UI. As you see, it looks totally the same as here in the example, but only you see that blank space here just because the card from Daisy UI is much bigger and takes more space in this row. That's why uh, this card was a bit expanded. In case if we remove Daisy UI card, that card will be totally the same as here at the example. Cool, so let's move on to ShedCN UI. Here is it, ShedCN library. Actually, they have pretty cool landing page. They showcase indirectly the components they have inside. So let's install this uh, library to our app. For that, let's press get started. And here we need installation and then we need to select here Vite. Okay, here is step-by-step -step explanation of the setup. It's a bit similar to Daisy UI. So in the first two steps, you need to install Tailwind CSS. We have already done it. And then the third, you need to update uh, TS config JSON file and add this configuration. Also in TS config app.json file, we need to add this configuration. In the next step, we need to update with config. Uh, we need to install types node and also we need to add this alias. After that, we need to initialize ShedCN CLI by running this command. And finally, if you want to import components, we need to run such a command. For example, if you want to import button, we need to run npx shed cn latest add 
button. So this approach is totally different from Material UI and from Daisy UI. Okay, so let's try to test it. Let's try to import components in that way. But first we need to find the card in the list of the components. Here is it. In card section, we have example only of uh, two different types of cards. This is the first one and this is the second one. Uh, at this card, you can see that there are two tabs, preview just to see how it looks like and code. So just to take a look uh, how they built this card. In terms of installation, we need to run npx uh, and latest add card to be able to get this card in our project. So let's try to do that. Okay, as you see, it says that it is created the card. And here in the project, you can notice that new folder was created, UI, and inside that UI folder, we have our card. So let's take a look at that file. So we have here import of CN, uh, here we have card, we have card header, we have card title, card description, card action, card content as well, card footer. So we have different components here imported with that card. And if we try to import that card from components UI card to our layout, let's see what will happen. Actually nothing, because we got provided with these components and now we need to use these components to actually build our card. For that, we can go back to that code example and now we need to copy that part. Let's create another file. Okay, here we pasted the example of the card, uh, the one we got from uh, Shetian library website. And as you see here, we import all this component we just installed with the uh, Shetian CLI in this UI folder card. Then we need to import it here. And now let's take a look at it. So as you see in this card, we don't have any images or buttons. So to be able to have them here, we need to go back to list of the components and find their, for example, button and also install it and import it to our card. And basically that's it. So to be able to build something with Shetsian UI library, you just need to import uh, components piece by piece and then gather them together to have the layout. Okay, now let's do side-by-side -side comparison of these three uh, libraries. So the first aspect we're going to take a look at is going to be design. In terms of design, Daisy UI has a Tailwind plugin and style with the uh, class names. Um, Material UI has full React components using uh, Material Design and ChatCN has headless components styled with Tailwind. In terms of components, Daisy UI has around 40 basic UI components, uh, Material UI has 100 plus components and advanced widgets, and Chetsian UI has around 50 components. So as you see, Material UI is the most complete UI library with a bigger set of components. In terms of uh, theming, uh, Daisy UI has 28 built-in themes uh, and uh, theming provided also via Tailwind config. In Material UI theming, you can do three through theme provider and it follows material design. And in the ShedCN UI, Tailwind based theming, via config or classes. And in terms of bundle size, it's actually very important. Uh, Daisy UI has minimal bundle size, only Tailwind classes. Material UI has a large bundle size due to uh, CSS and JS. And uh, ShedCN also has minimal uh, bundle size like Daisy UI because it only includes whatever you add. And the last thing, uh, Daisy UI is best uh, for quick UI setup with Tailwind, custom front-end styling. Material UI is best for complete out-of-the-box UI, admin panels or dashboards. And finally, ShadCN UI is the best for custom accessible design systems with full control. So how do you choose? Here is my quick take. Daisy UI is perfect for rapid, lightweight prototyping or if you love Tailwind and you want something quick and fast. Material UI is your go-to if you need enterprise-grade solution and a complete ecosystem of components. ShedCN shines for developers who need uh, deep customization and modern practices. Ultimately, the best choice depends on your project scale, team expertise and design preferences. My tip, if you are a beginner, Daisy UI or MUI would be the best choice. And that's it for today. Hopefully now you have better understanding which UI library to choose for your next project and bring it to life faster, easier and with way less hassle.
If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss next video on my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.